y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Stuff's Design Space. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. I have been sick, so my voice is kind of wonky, and that's okay. I am here. Um, <clears throat> so last week, I showed y'all how to do like a uh, masterboard collage with this, like your scraps. And so today, I'm going to show you how I make tags out of these. Um, and since the back of this, <clears throat> excuse me, is a magazine, um, what I like to do is take book pages and then cover them with gesso and it makes it to where you can write on them. So I know you can kind of see the book pages, but it's really cool to have like a black pen and actually write on it. It looks really amazing. So that is done. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you how, not on that one, we can do this one. Um, just show you real quick how I did the gesso. Um, it took two, and I just book pages. Like I tore a book apart that I am making into a junk journal, and then I just use the book pages from the book. Okay, first I need. Um, I want to kind of get rid of this big white. Are the plain looking um, <clears throat> part of the paper. Um, so I have that one. And let's see, let's do this. I just use a metal ruler. It's easy to tear it in a somewhat even fashion. Because right now I don't I don't care about it being like um whatchamacallit or whatever at the end <clears throat> okay so I have this one and then this is going to go over and I'm using this bottom part as a guide to know kind of where to tear this and then this I'm just going to put at the bottom I know it's facing a different way I don't care I care not. Now let me get my glue off my other desk. <clears throat> Y'all, I have been wanting one of those dream boxes. Ugh, I just keep seeing it advertised. God, it's so tempting. So I feel like that would be like the key, right? To being all sorts of organized. I just have so much stuff. Beautiful stuff. I love my stuff. Just my stuff ends up all over the place. And I'm okay that that little bit showing, that's not going to bother me at all. Let me tear off this little white piece and this one. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not rocket science. Um, all right, so I have that. And I just take <clears throat> one of these. You get a whole bunch at the Dollar Tree, I think. And this is just um, white gesso. It's like a page primer. And I just go across. I'm okay if it gets on that side. I have to keep an eye on my battery. I didn't change the battery in my camera before I sat down. <clears throat> so I have to keep an eye on that so it doesn't just die on me. Anyway, so this just makes it to where it kind of whitewashes out the book page to where you can use it as for journaling if that's what you want to do and I just think that's the best way one I use up my book pages and two I'm not using just like plain white paper so it gives it like character you know what I mean you know what I mean jelly bean okay and you just have to do like a thin layer it doesn't have to be super thick <clears throat> So 
So how is everyone else doing? I was really disappointed that I didn't get this out for y'all on Friday. And I'm sure this isn't gonna, it's not, this is gonna come out on Sunday. So today is Saturday while I'm doing this. Um, but I'm probably not gonna post it until tomorrow. Um, and then we'll be back on the Monday, Wednesday schedule, which I'm super excited about because I have some new stuff in that I want to show y'all. Um, so yeah, so that's all you do just like that. And I'm going to set that over there. Now what I am going to do is let this dry, but first I need to tear this page out that I did. I should have done that before I did the gesso, but hey. Who is keeping track of? Nobody. All right, let me open this back up. All right, so I'm gonna set this over to the side and let it dry. Now, what I generally do for this, <clears throat> so I'm not like, oh my gosh, <clears throat> sorry. So I'm not like, oh, I don't wanna cut this out or whatever, cause I will end up overthinking it and I don't wanna do that. So I'll flip it upside down. <clears throat> I do have these um, tag templates. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. But I notice if I use them, <clears throat> I get more out of um, my collages, right? So let's just get a pen. I think this one should work fine. Just trace and go down, and it's kind of bumpy, you know, because there's stuff on the other side. But I do like having my tags like a certain size, right? So this kind of keeps it uniform for me, having the same sizes <clears throat> of tags. And if you notice, I'm just butting this up against that. And I'm going to give you a hint. This right here, all this is, is, um, <clears throat> goodness, it's a uh, cutting board that I got actually from the Dollar Tree. So... There's that. Try to think of how else. Do I want another big one going this way? No. Kind of minimizes how much I have. So I am going to. Let's see. Do it. And use that bottom line. I do have a, another way that I make tags, but when it's thick things like um, a collage board, I like doing them like this. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let me see. And obviously I'm going to have some, you know, overlap or parts that aren't quite done are used and that's okay. I'm listening to my new baby and our older baby. So we already have a cat bandit. She's I think seven years old and they are getting used to each other right now in a, in a healthy way. Like there hasn't been any fighting. There's just been some hissing and some head bopping um, but other than that, they've been getting along pretty well. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to be able to do. So let me get my big scissors. I can cut these out. And then I'm not worried about, oh, I'm cutting into that. Or That's one of the reasons I said like last time when I did the collage boards, that I don't, um, I don't do people anymore because I have cut them in half and I'm not trying to do a, a Houdini type thing. 
Okay, so there is one tag. I'm just going to clean up this edge. So there's a tag, but let's go ahead and get these cut out and then we'll look at all of them. And this is just a great way to use up your scraps, to use up your book pages. Um, now I could keep these scraps, but I'm probably not. I don't know, it just depends. Um, we will see. <clears throat> so, yep. I've been sick since Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, I felt okay. And uh, Thursday, but man, yesterday, it was rough. Super rough. So... Like, those are amazing looking tags. Okay. And I'll go ahead and decorate a couple of them also. So you can see, like, how I would do that. Right? And then I'll write on the back of one so you can see how using gesso on book pages really does open up the opportunity just to have, you know, a nice writing space. Because it doesn't have to be perfect stark white or, you know, whatever. I can even, I'll show you, you can um, take inks and kind of ink it up. Okay. Um, I actually may save this part for something else. All right. So here are the tag so from that one page i got one two three four five six tags and they're all very unique i love that all right so which one do we want to decorate um let's go ahead and i'm going to take this one just for no other reason except i wanted to maybe this one and this one all right, so I'm going to take those two and set these to the side. All right, <clears throat> so what are we going to do? First thing I'm going to do is move some of this stuff. Um, I want to get, I like adding texture to mine, so I have this. This is some shipping material that I used in my um, junk journal box. And this is some lace type things, stuff I got from I don't remember where. Um, and then I always have my, um, where is it? I thought I had some, uh -huh, I do, my cheesecloth, love working with cheesecloth. All right, so what are we going to do? Cut that. this would really be good for too is uh, texture like adding texture oh I might do that let's see I have some of my own texture paste right here yeah I made some of my own texture paste I really like it is this the iridescent one I don't I don't think so. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't plan this stuff out, guys. I just start start going and doing, and it all just ends up working out in the way that it's going to work out. Uh, 
know, because I decided to use texture on this one. I will have to let it dry. But I love texture. I think it's super cool. Um, Alright, I'm going to stick you up there. Where is my iridescent one? Oh, this is it. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to tell, but I'm going to have to switch out this battery here in a minute anyway. But this is iridescent. I made it with some iridescent paint. Anyway, let me switch out this battery and we'll be right back. Okay, so I am going to set this to the side. It's really thick. I don't really like it. Um, I really don't like it at all, actually. You know what? I'm going to leave it because I, I can do something with it. I'm getting my baby wipes out so I can clean this off. Close. All right. Let me clean off my little palette knife and stick that back over here. Okay, so that's all good. Put that up there in case I need it. Um, okay, I went ahead and dried this a little bit so it wouldn't take so long. So we're going to set that one to the side. This already has so much brown, so I'm not going to use brown. I'm going to take some of this cheesecloth, and as much as I like tearing things, sometimes this gets so stringy, it's very difficult. I forgot to get you those popsicles, right? <coughs> I think there's some in here, though. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. So I just like to smear the um, glue stick and it sticks really well but I also like because I can like bunch it up. Alright and it sticks to my fingers. Let's put the lid back on that because it gets really stringy if you don't. Now, I am going to get out my creepy people. That's what I call these. I call these my creepy people. Because they just fit so well on things like this. So this is like groups of them. version. So I think I'm going to use that one right there. And um, what else do I have? I think I want some like little words. So I have these these little things in here that I always forget about, right? So this one says smile. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Um, this one says moments. Maybe we can go with moments. Um, some of these are just probably too big. Days of the week. Um, there's another smile and another moments. I think I'm just going to go with the moments one. I find it entertaining, to say the least. Alright. So I'm going to put these guys up here. I'm trying to see how I want to do this. So I'm going to put this here and put the moments. I really like the moments across the bottom. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Um, 
I don't like the way that tore per se. All right, I am gonna cut this little notch off. All right, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna get out. Um, as my vintage photo. Here you are. All right. Vintage photo. Let's go ahead and do this all up. Alright, so I guess I need two. But I kind of want them to be like more 3D-ish, like sticking up. So I have these little dots. Um, I'm going to put one on each of their heads like that and then I'll just put a bigger one in the middle because I, I want them to actually kind of stick up a little bit I like that look and then just to peel the sticky thing off stuff is really sticky oh come up there we go now the only thing is I'll give them a quick swipe going to glue down. Um, oh, come on. And then we have that right there. And the only other thing we need is a bit of lace up at the top. Let's see, do I have any lace in this drawer? That would look good. Here's some old lace. For my little topper. Flip it. And stick it. And there we go. I'm just going to have to let that dry. So right there we have a really nice tag made from the collage that we did. And then we can actually add a little something there. Do I have my ephemera book? I do. So maybe, let's see. Do we want to do, A 
little pop of blue with this little butterfly. Sometimes adding a little pop of color really brings like brings it to the next level. Alright, but I want this to go like that. Where's my there it is. No full sentences today, people. Okay, I just unclogged you. flip those wings up oh yeah that's nice that is a nice little touch right there I like that a lot what do you think about this tag I really like it that is so so beautiful oh, yep love it okay so this one is done now let's see what we're gonna do for this one um I'm just trying to see what I have in this drawer. To kind of go with that texture. No, not that. Here we go. Okay. I just bear with me as I ponder through this, as I tend to do. All right, my ephemera book again. Let me see. Um, where are, that is kind of big. Maybe there's a smaller one or we can do just playing around with some stuff that I have over here. It's just too big. Um, let me see. I have all of these very cool cutouts as well. Okay, maybe I go back to the suitcase. And Um. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to get to this section over here. I'm a coming. Okay. <sighs> here is the the challenge when <clears throat> I don't pre-plan. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I just start messing around and playing. And so then everything starts coming out. So I can do a stamp. Have this, these like various stamps that I think would look very cool on this tag. Can okay, tear this off? Put those on an envelope. <clears throat> and then I don't know ticket that's kind of cool I'm do that or not that. Maybe we just do some shoes and some stamps. I know that doesn't look like it goes together, but for some reason that just reminds me of travel. And yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. But this needs some definite help. All right. So we're going to do the shoes. Get those all gunked up. Okay, we got the shoes and the stamps. I know I'm super quiet, y'all, because I know when I start talking, I start coughing. And I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put those down right there. Okay, so we're going to let those sit, um, and I need some ribbon for a, for the top of my tag. So I might as well show you all my nifty little ribbon thing. So this is just like a, um, a basket that has holes all around it so I took some skewers <laughs> and put them through the holes and that's what all my ribbon and not sticking all out the sides um, so yeah so that is what I'm going to use I'm just gonna cut some of this and use it to make the tag up there All right, a hole punch. And 
and then I will write on the back of this one just to kind of show you how easy it is and how nice it looks when you use gesso on book pages. Come on. probably should have put an eyelet on there but I didn't and that's okay I don't think it's gonna tear it or anything there we go all right so I have a big mess to clean up all right so if I'm gonna use this for a journaling spot then I could just put um, what's today's date? I don't even know. 8. Okay, so that, see, as a book page, but you can't even hardly tell. It works out really well um, when you write on it like that. So that can be perfect for the backs of tags that have, like, magazines or whatever, or you're using, um, you know, scraps and there's stuff on the back. It's an easy way to use up book pages and to make your tags unique on the back. So don't forget you can do that. Okay, guys, I think this has been long enough. And if I talk, I start coughing and then my voice gets all wonky. And that's no fun. So these are the two that we ended up with um, from the collage that I did. And then we have these tags right here that are just waiting to be decorated in some other kind of way so let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell so you don't miss anything and until next time y'all have a blessed day bye